My name is Aubriana and I have been living with cystic fibrosis for 19 years. When I was younger, I never really thought about having a terminal illness. Um, in the back of my mind, I always knew that I did, but I always just considered myself like everyone else. My name is Todd Hootman, and I'm a pulmonary lung specialist at Kootenai Health in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Cystic fibrosis is a life-limiting genetic disorder, which unfortunately can cause progressive lung infections and eventually severe respiratory disease in patients that are affected. The primary issue that causes these changes are increases in thick, sticky mucus that becomes trapped in the lungs. With time, the trapping of this mucus causes significant infections that over time can cause permanent lung damage, resulting in significant problems with coughing, shortness of breath, and the inability to do normal activities of everyday living. Patients with cystic fibrosis are constantly undergoing treatments to help improve the clearance of this mucus from their lungs. These different treatments involve not only direct manipulation of the chest to help loosen the mucus, but also medications designed to help open the air passageways and help them cough this mucus out. There have been significant advances in treatments for cystic fibrosis over the last 40 years, but a lot of work still remains to be done. Patients who are affected by cystic fibrosis can lead very normal lives on the outside, but on the inside are constantly struggling just to breathe on a day-to-day -day basis. I have a 14-year-old son with CF who will be 15 next month. Um, he was diagnosed pretty much when he was born. He was born with what's called meconium ileus. It's a blockage in his small intestine. We uh, had a home birth, really great experience, and realized though soon thereafter that something was wrong with our baby. Our biggest goal for him was just to be an average kid with an extraordinary life. So in doing that, we um, had to do clinic visits and things like that, but nothing was kept from him to do. He was involved in every activity he wanted. Um, of course, we had to maintain treatments and therapies, but other than that, he just never knew anything different than being just like his friends. His whole motto is never to let CF keep him down. That's our whole family's motto. We don't want to do anything that will inhibit him to be the very best he can be. You can really have a great attitude being inspiring, uh, not have it defeat you, um, and just be determined. Have determination to be all that you were created to be. Um, and that is a, a mind and a soul thing more than a body thing. So no matter how long we have, no matter how many days God's given us, um, to do great things with every one of those days. Cystic fibrosis went ahead and gave me a surprise attack a few months ago. I lost my voice for three months. For three months, I couldn't speak. Just talking like this, I couldn't talk. I actually really, really liked to sing, and I would try to sing in the car, and I couldn't. And it was really terrible, because when I'm really sad, I'll get in my car, and I'll turn the music up, and I'll just sing really, really loud. And I couldn't do that, and it made me really, really sad. I had to deal with that for three months. And it sounds like, you know, not a big of a deal. She lost her voice. People lose their voice all the time. My voice is one of the most powerful things that I have. What I'm using right now is my voice to tell you about my experience. And so for me, my voice is really powerful. I knew participating in this program would require me to come up with a platform. Um, I think cystic fibrosis is a great platform for me because not only do I have it, I can tell you about this disease from my heart. I can show you what it's like to live with and I can speak for those that aren't able to speak for themselves that have cystic fibrosis. My name is Katie and I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at the age of five and a half. Um, it's been difficult, I'll tell you that. I was a cheerleader and at the end of cheerleading I got really sick and I had to be hospitalized. And it was very difficult because cheerleading was like my sport, my passion. Mm -hmm. It's something that I wanted to be able to do. It's something that made me feel more normal. 
and not being able to do that and being stuck in a hospital is made, like put the thought of reality into my head like this is your life get over it you're not going to be able to do cheerleading anymore it was really quite depressing actually but I was able to overcome that I always say just breathe but breathe easy Don't stop what you're doing because of your CF. Keep going and make the CF a part of what you do in your life. Turn it into a positive thing. I don't know what I would do without my parents. They're the reason that I'm here. They gave me life. And yeah, they gave me CF and I'm grateful that they did because Without that, I, I wouldn't have this awesome, amazing life. I wouldn't have all these opportunities. I mean, every day is a gift. That's why they call it the present. And it's the best gift you could possibly get. Having CF is a troublesome gift. And I would like, for anybody else who has CF and thinks that they're gonna die tomorrow or that there's an age limit on their life, forget that. No, and nobody knows when you're gonna die. But the only thing that's gotten me through having CF is my parents, and my family, and my friends, and most of all, God. Grandfather would tell me stories about how when he was a kid, he was diagnosed with of something called rheumatic fever and the doctors would tell him oh you're gonna die when you're eight years old and then he would live and then they'd say oh you're gonna die when you're 12 and I always saw myself just like him he's pushing 80 years old now still trucking and I am just like him <laughs> Poppy and I are the same and so all of my life I have just considered myself just like everyone else you know I am not going to die. No one can tell me when I'm gonna die. It's just the way that it is. But there comes a time in your life when you have to accept the fact that you're not the same as everyone else. There are things that make us all different and cystic fibrosis sets me apart. I encourage you if you'd like to follow my journey to hopefully Miss America one day um, or just follow my platform. Don't forget my sisters and fibros. Go ahead and follow my page. Um, there should be a link on the screen. Also, go ahead and check out the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation website. They've got lots of information about cystic fibrosis, how you can help, how you can donate, and just get informed. It's really, really important to be informed.